Hello everyone. Welcome to the Common Cantonese Words Every Beginner Must Know series. And in this lesson, I am going to talk about words that are associated with the Chinese characters down, open, human, and work. Now, if you wish to review the words that I've covered in this video, please check out our Android app in which it provides extensive flashcards and quizzes to help you study these words. Let us start with the Chinese character that is associated with to go down or to have an abortion or to abort, in which in Cantonese, it is the Chinese character law. Law. Now, if you wish to uh, uh, say to go down or descend um, in Cantonese, then you will say law hoi. Lo hoi. Now, similarly, if you want to say to come down, you could also say lo lai. Lo lai. Now, if you want to say something that would be dropped to the floor, then you could say lo dei. Lo dei. And lastly, if you want to say to rain in Cantonese, then you will say lo yu. Lo. Yu. Now, if you wish to review these words in our Android app, please look at the uh, app flashcard set named Words to Go Down. The second Chinese character that I want to talk about is open, or to start, or to turn on in Cantonese, in which it is pronounced hoi, hoi. And of course, when in combination with other Chinese characters, it produces a lot of other words with different meanings. So for example, if you want to say um, to start to talk or open one's mouth, then you will say hoi hao, hoi hao. Now if you want to say um, to get started on something in Cantonese, then you can say hoi qi, hoi qi. Happy in Cantonese is uh, pronounced hoi sum, hoi sum. And of course, happiness is associated with expenditures of all kinds. And expenditure or expenses in Cantonese is pronounced hoi ji, hoi ji. And lastly, to open a door in Cantonese is pronounced hoi moon, hoi moon. And if you wish to review these words in our Android app, it is found in the flashcard set named Words to Open. Next, we're going to talk about the words that are associated with the Chinese character of human. And in Cantonese, it is pronounced yan. Yan. Now, a way to say everyone in Cantonese is, is yan. Yan. Yan, yan. And if you wanted to uh, address other people as a third person kind of thing, then you will say yan dei, yan dei. And as you can see here, it is written in. Uh, it can be written in two uh, uh, types of Chinese characters as well here, but they mean the same thing and they pronounce the same way. Now, if you want to say a a, a, a person more formally or figurehead or public figure, then you would say yan si, yan si. Now, if you want to say others or other people, um, usually this is going to be what you see in a very old Chinese movies, in, like they're set up in 60s or 70s, then you would say yan ga, yan ga, when pointing at others. Now, if you want to say um, uh, um, manpower or manual work in Cantonese, then you would say yan gong, yan gong. This means artificial as well. Now, another entirely different meaning on this is your salary. So salary also can be said as yan gong as well. Now, if you, if you, uh, 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 want to say like let's say human emotions or uh, a favor 
um, in Cantonese, then you will say Yan Cheng. Yan Cheng. Now, if you want to say the people in Cantonese, then you would say Yan Man. Yan Man. Now, if you want to say a protagonist or a character or a person in Cantonese, then you can say Yan Mat. Yan Mat. If you want to say life in Cantonese, then you can say Yan Sang. Yan Sang. If you want to say human beings or mankind in Cantonese, then you can say Yan Loi. Yan Loi. And lastly, if you want to say mercy, kindness, in Cantonese, then you can also say the word yan, although written differently, but the pronunciation is the same. And if you wish to review these words in our Android app, it is under the flashcard set named under uh, words using the character human. The last Chinese character that I wanted to talk about in this uh, uh, lesson is the character that associated with to work as or to pawn and in this case it is pronounced in Cantonese dong but to uh, if you use this character as to pawn in Cantonese then you would lower the tone down from one to three so in this case you would pronounce it dong now if you want to say among or amongst in Cantonese then you would say dong chong Dong Chong. Now, if you want to say in those years in Cantonese, then you would say Dong Ni. Dong Ni. Now, when you want to start off with a sentence to say when I blah 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 blah, then you would say Dong Ngo. Dong Ngo. So, if you want to say consecutively, when you want to say when you blah 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 blah, then you would say Dong Ni. Dong Ni. Now, if you want to say that day or that very day in Cantonese, then you would say Dong Ya. Dong Ya. And if you want to say at that time in Cantonese, then you would say Dong Si. Dong Si. And lastly, if you want to say of course in Cantonese, then you would say Dong Yin. Dong Yin. Now, if you wish to review these words in our Android app, please look at the app flashcard set named Words with to Work As. Now, if you like the content and you like the knowledge that you learn, please like and subscribe to our channel, as well as if you have not done so already, I recommend you to download our Cantonese learning app in which the link is in the description below. So this app contains the flash de uh, flashcard decks as well as the quizzes of the words that you have learned in this lesson as well as um, the other lessons that I have offered in my channel. Also, if you have any other learning questions or uh, want to connect with other people who are learning Cantonese uh, the same as you, please join our community Discord channel um, in which I will be there as well as uh, other learners will be there to answer your questions as well as to mingle. And of course, the Discord channel link is in the description below as well. Now, thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next lesson.